guys, Ben here, aka Manitoba Mr. 77, and this is 5. What is the question ever? WWE superstars that you do not remember. Number 5. David Hart Schmidt. So I'm not a legendary British Bulldog, and, at, and as you can see from here, he was a member of the Hart Dynasty Tag Team with Tyson Kidd. And see which was managed by Natalia. Um David Hart Schmidt was now it's surprising that he didn't make it in the company considering that he was what a wrestler what Prince of Graham looked for in the wrestler. Big, muscly, tough guy. He also had the technical abilities as well, so if he also had the technical abilities. It's so weird that um he didn't really manage to make it. He was kind of forgot about, and he moved to TNA where he's doing quite well for himself or something. But right now, but he didn't really make himself much. He wasn't very good in WWE. Vince Graham didn't really do much of it. Number four, Yoshi Tatsu. He made a name for himself by defeating Sheldon Benjamin with a single kick. But it's weird enough that he didn't manage to make it in the business. It was impressive. He also won the WrestleMania uh, 26, 26 man battle. Yeah, but he didn't really do much else. He was, uh, I think he was drafted to a a ECW, the WWE, WWE ECW. But he didn't do much there. Shame. It was wasted talent pretty much and hopefully he's goes on to success. If he's in a different promotion, just leave a comment to let me know. Number three, Vladimir Kozlov. He tag teamed with William Regal in the this round table as you can clearly see here. And he was also a WWE tag team champion and he was even originally set to be the one to beat the Undertaker's legendary WrestleMania streak again. I rhymed it. But, of course, it was changed the last minute, and, well, not last minute, but it was changed, and so that didn't happen. But, yeah, just, yeah. I don't think many people remember him. Number two, Michael Tarva. He was the original member of the original Nexus. We all know what happened to that. John, we all know what happened to that. Uh, um, John Cena, but he, yeah, he was a tough dude, six foot two and two hundred and fifty-six pounds. Similar to David Hart Smith, it's weird how he didn't manage to make it, but. He's a member of the original ne the original a member of the original Nexus, by the way, just so you know I'm keeping raw well, this aggression era lasted until twenty thirteen, December twenty thirteen, TLC twenty thirteen. But this dude really didn't didn't make it and it's just not a lot of people remember him. Now, joint number one. We have a joint number one. We have Court Hawkins, my sister wrote over this. Well, my baby cousin, sorry. But, Court Hawkins was one of the edgeheads and was a world tag team champion. He teamed up with Zack Ryder. Um, as you can see, though, he really he had an awesome finish move as well. The, what was it? The Sense of Pain? I forgot what it was called. But, he was kind of forgotten about, as you can see. He, since then, Hawkins hadn't had the same kind of success. And that didn't really, yeah, he just didn't really do much. He didn't really do very well for himself afterwards. Number one, and joint, other joint number one, Lucky Cannon. Now, Cavill could also be in the thing that Husky Harris, I like, would also part, but the thing is, he transformed into Bray Wyatt. Uh, the Lucky Cannon was a high flyer, and he pretty much impressed quite a lot of people, but he didn't do too well. For himself, for he hails from Newport Rich, 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 Rich,
And while being six foot five and two hundred twenty pounds, he could fly. He could fly, but unfortunately, he didn't do well for himself. And yeah, he kind of just got lost in the shuffle. And that's the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Peace.